let us continue over here and now you can see that i have cleared out my main that dot file if you can see that i have a small error over here one error which is saying that the home screen is missing so you can just go and clear out your main that dot file and just uh, make sure you just have leftover code same as my one so i'm just i will just keep a run app and then i will extend create a class of my my app and that extends the stateless widget right and inside that we just have a material app and uh, then we have a home which is pointing to the home screen but currently we don't have any home screen so let us create that particular home screen now uh, for that i'll create a new folder and i'll just call it as a screen and inside this screen i will add a new file and call it as a sorry it should be of a home underscore screen dot the dot file and now i will create a new class over here and that should be our stateless uh, let us call it as a stateless uh, widget and stateless i think stateless widget and that should be of our home screen right and i need to import this particular package that is a flutter material dot dot so i'll just import that one and the error should be gone and now if i go to the main dot dot file i can just import that particular package again over here the error is gone so we have a home screen and if you are wondering how do i get that particular code snippet you can just install the plugin so i have installed the, some extension over here uh, you can just take a look i have installed the awesome flutter snippet so this is the one that is helping me to generate that particular code so when i just type uh, like stl and i get this particular uh, code snippet so i can use that one so you can install this extension if you have one install it so what we'll do now is we have a home screen and we will need a one more screen so for that i'll create a new file over here and call it as a add employee sorry that's the uh, e -M -P -L -Y employee and that should be employee underscore c or screen dot the dot file so we have a two screen and i'll just uh, add another uh, let's add the stateless widget or the stateless i think let us add a stateful for this one maybe we'll have some state over here so for that i will just keep uh, add emp loy employee screen so that should be the one the class name and import the flutter material package over here and for this one let us add a const that is giving us some recommendation and we have a two screen already and let us add a one more folder over here and that we will be adding as a route and inside this we will be adding our route so let us create a new file and call it as a route generator dot dot file and we will create a class over here and this class will be of a let us give a route generator and this is a class that we have and we will create a static file over here static and the i think we'll create a route function static route function that basically takes this route basically takes a uh, dynamic uh, you can see it's this uh, generic type of t so we will pass as a dynamic over here and we'll give a function name i'll just say g and your generate uh, route for us right and this will take a route setting so this will give us uh, settings something like that and we need to return something from here right so this is a route generator and it has a uh, parameter of a route setting so this is from the route setting is the things that we are will be using to get our argument if we are passing an argument from one route to the another so this will help us to get us the argument 
and let us create a switch statement over here or the switch case and the first will be the name that we will be getting so settings dot the name that we get so that will be the route name that we are getting and if the case is of the let's say um, slash then that will be of our home screen right so we will basically point that one to the home screen and we'll just say return from here we want to return a material route page right so we want to return a material route page and the builder i think we are not going to use anything over here so just make it as uh, underscore so we are not going to use that one and return let us return the const we want to return a const home screen right so that will return us the home screen from here and uh, then we have uh, another case to go to our add employee right so we want to go to the add employee so this is not needed break statement we are just returning directly and here we will add another case um, see a case and that will be of the let's say we want to go to the uh, add and this will be add employee right so we want to go to the add employee and then we will return from here right so we want to return a material a route page so it's not the material material page route and then we have a builder and this builder is not doing anything so we can just keep on the scroll over here and return the same we want to return a add employee screen from here and we'll also give a const because that should be fine and we have a two route currently one is for the add employee and the home screen and the default what we will do is we want to return if both of these route are not found then it will go to the default and when the default when it went to the default then we say there is no route right so we want to return something like a return no route or or error we can just say error let's say error route so currently we don't have this error function so let's go and create this function over here so we'll create a static uh, function similar to route and this will be of a uh, dynamic again and that will be of uh, underscore error route yeah. so we are not taking any parameter over here and we will just return from here something like a uh, uh, material material page route why i am getting the material uh, page route so material page route and the builder we don't want to have any builder so i can just give underscore over here and this is going to build us something so we have to return from here uh, scaffold and then we will say scaffold has a app bar and let's create an app bar over here uh, we don't want to set the action but we want to set the title and title would be of our text and that text we want to write something like uh, no route right and that will be is a type of the const so const and then we want to say that one as uh, center tile is equals to should be true because we want to center it center the app bar app bar in the title and after that we have a body over here and in the body we want to return the let's say a const and the center and in the center we have a child and with this child we can return some kind of a text and uh, we will just say the text like the something like a uh, sorry no route was found right and something like the error that we want to give it to the user and we can also style a little bit over here and we can just say text style um text style something and here we will just call it as a color i think so let's say uh color and 
colors that we will just give as a red for the error and that's great so we have a color and i think we can also add something like a font size let us give a little bit of bigger size and that will be of a something we want to get it like a fun font right or we can just give us a name directly as a 16 or we can give it as a 18.0 i think that should be fine so we have that and i think i need to close it here i also need to close it and that is the one so now we have a route and we need to use this route in our home screen over there. here we need to add something over here so return the material app and the home that we have before home uh, we have to set up like the initial route that we have and the initial route is this one so we need to match that with our route generator class that we have initial route and we then go back again and again we will add over here on the generated route so on generated route we will say route generator class that we have that generate the route for us and we don't have to pass uh, create a give a constructor over here and i can remove this one because we don't have to pass the home now why because uh, we already have a set up the initial route and it will look for our route generator and find the initial route that we are passing and it will point us to the home screen so let us run our application i think that should be fine just run it so now when you run your application you will basically get a black screen uh, there is nothing on the screen because if you go to the home screen there is just a container and nothing inside that particular container so that will be your homework to fix this particular screen so just take it as your assignment and try to fix this particular uh, screen and try to show something on your home screen like let's say a title of a home screen and add some uh, text over here or add some button so that's your homework right so uh, just run it on your both of device iphone and the ios if you are using a mac or if you are on the windows just try to run it on your android illuminator so uh well let's meet up on the next one until then have a great day